Cloud configuration groups is a way to classify or logically group devices together. This allows IT administrators to accomplish several things, but at a high level, we can push policy or even filter based on our own user-defined logical groupings, which we call cloud config groups. Let's begin by reviewing a project I am currently working on and how I am using CCGs to help. So here at Arrowhive headquarters, we are working with IT to replace our existing AP250s, which are 802.11ac, with AP630s, which are 802.11ax. Our rollout strategy is a four-phased plan over one month. So week one, we're planning on doing half of the first floor. Week two, the second half of the first floor. Week three, the first half of the second floor. And then finally, in closing, on the last week, we'll do the remaining second half of the second floor. I'm creating four CCG groups for each of the individual week rollouts. I've already created three of my cloud config groups. Here I'll be adding the fourth. I'll show you how this is done and we'll add my remaining access points. This group will be called AX phase four rollouts and I will add a description. To finalize, I will select all the devices and add them to my phase four rollout CCG. In summary, I can use cloud configuration groups to extend assignment flexibility beyond a network policy by logically partitioning devices into groups. I can now filter these devices. I can assign policy to my CCG groups and I can assign services such as DNS or NTP servers to CCG.